Bitly is a service that shortens links. Got a long weird URL like this? Pop it into Bitly and you get a nice short URL like this. Perfect for some compact space like Twitter. But there's something strange about Bitly. Is it the Pufferfish logo? No, that's a bit weird, but kind of cute. Is it the fact that when you change one letter in a bit.ly URL, you're likely to land at some random site? No, that's just fun. No, the mysterious part about Bitly is the shortening domain itself, bit.ly. What does this .ly signify? After all, you can't just slap any two-letter combo at the end of a domain. It has to be created for some purpose. Well, it's a country code top-level domain, like many popular domains such as .co for Colombia, .io for the British Indian Ocean Territory, and .fm for the Federated States of Micronesia. But where does .ly hail from? Well, Libya, of course. And this is where Bitly gets into a tricky situation. These country code top-level domains can be subject to arbitrary restrictions imposed by the country associated with them. For instance, .ly domain names must not contain obscene, scandalous, indecent, or contrary to Libyan law or Islamic morality, words, phrases, nor abbreviations. Although this regulation seems to apply only to the domain name itself, it seems to have been extended to the content of the websites themselves. For instance, in 2010, vb.ly, billed as, quote, the Internet's first sex-positive URL shortener, was deleted because, according to a Libya telecom and technology official, quote, pornography and adult material aren't allowed under Libyan law. Thus, the Libyan government has ultimate authority over this process, and it is a government not friendly to free speech, nor is it even stable. Libya has been embroiled in civil wars for the last nine years. You may be thinking, Bitly must be more safe than vb.ly was, right? After all, vb.ly was strongly associated with content that the Libyan government was not a fan of, whereas bit.ly is much more generic. However, in 2010, after bit.ly was registered, a new regulation came into force requiring all new .ly domain registrations under four characters to have a local presence in Libya. Existing domains like bit.ly were grandfathered in and allowed to remain as they have for the past 10 years. Given that bit.ly has remained untouched for the last 10 years, the domain seems relatively safe. However, it is certainly not completely safe, and at any point, the Libyan government could require bit.ly to instigate court proceedings or outright lose their domain. This is especially precarious given the unstable nature of the Libyan government. For most companies, this loss of domain would be a real concern with negative impacts. Even if they avoid domains like .ly, the domain is never completely secure. For instance, the U.S. government has seized domains in the past, although usually for much more narrow reasons like involvement with criminal activity. However, for most sites, this would not be catastrophic. If YouTube suddenly lost YouTube.com, people who still wanted to use YouTube would do a quick Google search, learn that YouTube has moved to NewTube.com, and move on. Sure, it would be a major disruption, sure to cause frustration and probably some loss of users, but not the end of the company. However, for bit.ly, a loss of domain would be absolutely catastrophic. The core of their product exists of bit.ly links. If these links were suddenly rendered inoperable, countless links on the internet would break and their reputation would be immensely tarred, perhaps irreparably. Bitly spokespeople have said that the threat is not serious and that they have backup domains like bitly.com. Of course, such backup domains would not help the many existing bit.ly links. Thus, it seems like an unwise move to start a link shortener company with a .ly domain. Granted, the domain was registered before Libya's civil wars began, but Gaddafi was in power then, and his government was already an oppressive censor. At this point, bit.ly is way too heavily invested in its domain to switch, but if you're thinking of purchasing a domain, use extreme caution with .ly. What do you think? Is the worry about .ly domains legitimate, or am I being overly paranoid? Let me know in the comments.